Hey guys, so trying something new today. A few days ago on a couple of my videos, I asked you guys to put your specific um, choices in between cards. So one or the other, as it takes me forever, if it would take me forever to go through every single person. So I thought that I would make a video of about 10 in the comments section. And then what I'll do is any of the questions that you guys have about specific cards going forward, put it in the comments of this video, and then I'll make another episode and whatnot going forward. I think that if you aren't on my Discord or, um, you know, I, if I don't get back to you on Twitter, again, I get a ton of message every day of should I choose this card or that card or that kind of thing. And it would just take me forever. So I apologize I don't get back to you guys, but I hope this video kind of helps with that so let's start things off with lee Matz. i hope i'm saying your name right 95 line a versus the 95 pool yarvi i have the untradeable 91 line a but i was thinking up of upgrading to the 95 i have the 95 soon to be 96 pool yarvi but i feel like the line a card plays better because he is more of a name your thoughts so let's jump into and see um what would be the better option here so we'll start things off with the 95 Jesse Pugliarvi. So obviously he's going to have way more value just because he's going to keep going up for the rest of the year. Uh, but that alone, he's six foot four, two eleven. So he is a perfect size build for this meta. He's right-handed. He can't play center, obviously. Uh, 99, uh, basically skating across the board. Mid-90 shot. Hand stats all in the low to mid-90s. And his awareness stats are at 95 and 94. So this is a fantastic right-handed winger card. Uh, but let's take a look at the 95 line A. So the 95 Patrick Line is a little bit bigger at six foot five, has two to X, two to one T, so a little bit less synergies. 99 skating as well, and high 90 shots. So the only thing I'll say here is, um, you know, he does have 99 skating, but his shot is obviously quite a bit better when you consider the end game. Uh, he's basically 99 across the board in terms of shooting his hand stats as well. Deking, hand eye pa uh, Deking and hand eye are at 97, 99. Uh, passing is 93. Puck control is 97. So when you combine that with his balance and the fact he's 6'5", this is going to be nuts. Now his defensive awareness is at 89. The only thing I will say with this, at face value, uh, the 95 line A is better, but the 96 or the 95 Pool Yarvi that will be a 96 is going to continue and hold more value going forward because he's obviously going to improve as the season goes on if you're looking to play into the summer. So if you're looking for short term, I would say Patrick Line A. If you're looking for the long game, I would go with Pool Yarvi. All right, next we've got from Rhino911 at 96 Darlene or the 95 Burns. Good question. Let's take a look at who we would choose between that. So we'll start with the 96 Darlene, six foot three, 190. The thing I'll say here is that he's left handed or right handed. So this is really going to depend on what you need. But if we're comparing just the two side by side, so he's six three, ninety nine 99 skating across the board. His slap shot is 98 power, 93 accuracy. So he's got a fantastic slap shot. His passing is 95, puck control 95 as well. And his defensive awareness is at 98. So as far as defensemen go, he's almost perfect so let's take a look at the 95 brent burns now so again he's right handed it's all going to depend on that but he's six foot five so a little bit bigger a little bit heavier as well at 230 speed is 95 across the board i'll say this i love brent burns he's a shark and i'm a diode sharks fan his cards always play slower than their stats indicate. I find them to be really slow, but extremely effective in this meta. Uh, his wrist or his slap shot is 95 power, 88 accuracy. His wrist shot is always better because, well, in real life, it is better. Um, his deking, or sorry, his hand die and deking, 989. Passing, puck control, and body checking, 95 all the way, 94 as well. And then awareness stats are 96. So. It's going to come down to, again, what handedness he is. But if we're choosing between the two, I do like the Rasmus Dahlin. I feel like he's a faster skater, and his slap shot is better than Brent Burns. So the two things that are kind of important, I mean, obviously Brent Burns being bigger, but anything over 6'2 is kind of just what you need. You don't really uh, differentiate unless you're going to, like, Chara height or Myers. It really isn't that big of a difference from 6'5 to 6'3. So keep that in mind. But I would choose the Dahlin if I'm going straight up between these two. All right, this is from DJ177. Hey, man, love the vids. Need some help deciding between 98 Rantanen or the Kovalchuk. All right, let's take a look at who we would choose between those two. So we'll start with the Miko Rantanen. Again, just like the last question, it is going to depend on the winger side that you need. If you need righties, then obviously you're going to go Kovalchuk. If you need lefties, you want to go Rantanen. But if everything's the same, let's just go between the two of them. Uh, Rantanen is six foot four and 99, basically everything important. So uh, he is... One of, if not the best, left-handed winger card in the game. The Yeah, there's no complaints here. He's almost perfect in terms of build, size, shot, hands. 
Uh, yeah, just an almost perfect card. And over to Kovalchuk, who's slightly smaller at six foot three, not noticeable at all. 99 everything as well. He is the best right-handed winger card, maybe other than Ovi. Um, but again, this Kovalchuk is just as good, if not, you know, it's they're the exact same. They're 1A for each of the uh, sides that you need. So again, this is really going to depend. The only thing I will say is that Kovalchuk's defensive awareness is 89, which isn't a backbreaker, but, you know, there are times that, you know, he might get uh, slightly lost in the defensive zone compared to Rantanen, who's got a little bit higher. But uh, yeah, this is almost a dead heat. So. All right, next up, we've got Joe Rolf, 95 Kucherov, or spend 140k more for the 95 Line A. All right, let's take a look at the two. All right, we'll start with the 95 Kucherov. Now, I will say this. You guys are picking guys that are opposite hands. So, um, again, it's going to come down if you need a left winger or a right winger, but that aside... Kucherov is five foot eleven, so right there it puts him at a disadvantage compared to a lot of other cards. I have the ninety nine Kucherov, and he's on my third line, not because I have you know the bet. Well, I have a very very good first and second line, but he is harder to use in this game than prior games because of how the game is played and the size that everyone is using. So he's 99 skating, essentially, shot in the mid to high 90s. Hand stats are basically 99, but his body checking is only 87. Offensive awareness is 99. Like, this is a very, very good high-end card. I will say this. Unless you are someone who scores off the rush or goes end-to-end, -end, Kucherov is probably not going to be the best use of how you play the game. If you cycle a ton and you hold it in the zone looking for those one-timers, the Kucherov build is not going to be as effective as he was in past games. Again, we'll take a look at the flashback 95 line A. He is a perfect build. Six foot five, very big, 99 skating, 99 shooting. If we're choosing between the two, I would spend the 140k more for the 95 line A as you will never have to replace this card. He is a, you know, you could use him as a top four winger, right-handed winger card for the rest of the game. And the only way you're upgrading him is is very, very nitpicking thing. So um, there's very few right-handed winger cards that are better than line A. All right, next up, we've got Nicholas Tuomola, 95 Lucic or the 95 Lafreniere. Even though Lafreniere isn't too big, his 91 winner national card was six, so don't know, tough choice. So I'll say this, I loved Laugh's winner national card as well, but let's take a look at them side by side. First up, we've got the 95 Milan Lucic, the flashback Vancouver giant card. He's six foot three, two thirty six. So instantly gets a benefit from that. He's ninety nine skating. His shot is a little bit left to be desired at this stage of the game. Ninety five power, eighty seven accuracy, uh, ninety nine body checking though. As puck control and his deking are under ninety, and his awareness stats are under ninety as well. So that does impact him. Um, he is very, very good at getting the puck back and holding on to it, but his shot is obviously not going to be uh, the super elite as other 95 overall cards are, so that will come into it. And then we've got the 95 Alexis Lafreniere, 6'1", so obviously a little bit of a size advantage or disadvantage to Lucic as well as the weight. Uh, 99 skating, essentially, but his shot is fantastic. And 99 power, 95 accuracy. All of his hand stats are above 95, and his awareness stats are 99 and 94. So uh, when you pull all that together, uh, honestly, with a t <laughs> this is going to sound weird in this meta, but I would rather have the Alexis Lafreniere. The body checking being at 90 is not bad, and again, it's not like he's small he's six foot one um but again you're obviously going to be you know at more an advantage with him with that deadly shot that he's got even though he is two inches shorter so i would go with lafreniere here okay this one comes from lucky charms i'm a first year player and i want to know should i build lemieux or save and upgrade my timu solani or peter forsberg okay so first things first i don't know what he means by build lemieux i don't know if he means build the 99 or if he means build the 91. Um, obviously, it's going to take a lot more icon collectibles. Or should he save and upgrade his Timu Solani or Peter Forsberg? So if it's the 91 Lemieux, I would not make that card. I would make I would save an upgrade for Timu or Peter Forsberg 100%. If it's if you have the option to make the 99 Lemieux, this one's pretty easy. It's make the 99 Lemieux. Um, he's the best right-handed winger card in the game. Him and Kovalchuk are great side-by-side. Side. So uh, I'm not really sure on what you meant by this one, but again, if it's a 91 Lemieux, I would go Timu and Forsberg. I'd wait and save up. If it isn't, then I would go um, Lemieux for the 99. This one comes from 
Raddy, McDavid, Team of the Week 99, or Rantanen 98? This is a very, very good question. So let's pull up the cards. So again, we'll start with the 98 Miko. Rantanen, he's 6'4", 11, 99 in basically everything important other than body checking and face-offs at 84. So he is the prototype card that you want in this game. Um, build, size, shot, speed, you know, even, you know, the only thing he's missing is face-offs, but he's a winger, and body checking being only 91. Everything else he's basically maxed out at. So now let's take a look at the 99 Team of the Week, McDavid. So I will say this. He's 6'1", 192, 99, basically everything. Speed-wise, shot as well. Accuracy more than power, which I do like it more. Uh, hand stats all 99, and his face-offs are 93. So I will say McDavid based on versatility, but I will also say this. The McDavid card does not play nearly as strong as he does in past years. And again, it has to pertain to uh, the meta and whatnot. Even though he's 6-1, I f this isn't just coming from me. I'm, you know, I'm, a lot of my good buddies are the best in the world. A lot of them just qualified for the GWC regional play-in next week in the U.S. side. And they all don't like McDavid cards this year. And there's a reason for it. It's just the bigger meta has taken over. And it sucks because McDavid is obviously the best, should be the best card or one of them in the game. And it's not that he isn't. It's just that size in this game matters so much so that you basically, you know, when it comes to the very, very top end cards, you would rather have someone bigger. So on no lie, I would rather have the 98 ranted in if you're looking at a winger card. But the versatility on Connor McDavid because he's got the 93, you know, if you're weak on center, I would probably take the McDavid. All right, we've got one from Steve, and my team is pretty maxed out, but I have a question about D. So I have Tyler Myers, and he's my lower overall by far, and the question, should I upgrade the currently unused Moritz Sider 91 and replace the Myers card? So if you have, this one's really easy to me. Let's pull up, uh, let's pull up the uh, Moritz Sider. All right, so this one's pretty easy. Here's the 98 Moritz Sider. He is one of the top three best right defensemen in the game. The, the Tyler Myers is nice because he's gigantic, uh, but this is going to be on your team for the rest of the game, and regardless of what else comes out, there's very few cards that can end up being better than him. Obviously, 99 burns and things like that, but this card is fantastic. I would 100%, especially if you already have the 91 Moritz Sider, upgrade to this 98 that is 100 percent the play this one comes in from kyle collington my girlfriend says ask him what his wife's name is tell her i said hi it's skyla she says hi back all right guys so that's going to do it for today's episode let me know what you think in the comments section down below if you'd like to see more of these videos again there's i've hit a point now where on twitter discord youtube comments where i would literally just be answering these kinds of questions all day long especially i also in my stream as well if, speaking of the devil if you want real-time advice the best way is probably visit me in stream i stream 9 to about 3 p.m monday to friday as well as on the weekends on twitch twitch link is down below um that's probably the best just hop into my stream and i will give you an answer but Put your comments and your card questions in this comment section down below. As long as you subscribe, it's all I ask. Um, I will you know, do the next video, and I'll pull all 10 or so of your questions and see if I can't help you guys out. So, again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one.